This is my third band. And what's the name of it? TCB Music. I'm the owner of it. Oh, shit. I started at 19. <laughs> what the f- t- All right. Talk about starting a band. Because I thought I know you were like the lead singer, right? Yeah. I didn't know that was your band. Yeah, it's my band um, at 19. You know, got let go from that band. My dad was more mad about it than I was. Right. He's like, we're going to start our own band. And I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> There's a knock on the front door. All this equipment is starting to get shipped out. And this is dad doing dad this? Dad doing oh, this. Oh, shit. You know, oh, he's shit. been my biggest supporter. Uh-huh. You know, uh, hi, dad. <laughs> oh, shit. But started it, and then I think it was maybe like March. Mm-hmm. March, whenever it started getting shipped out, and then June. I started pulling my guys in, you know, I was like, starting a band, you know, you want to be in it. And I got lots of no's before I got a few yeses. From people that you asked to be in the yeah, band? Yeah, you know. So the people that you're in the band with now, how how did they, who are, first of all, who are they? Let, let everybody know who they are. Give them they flowers. All right. So on bass, I have Mike Lujan. On drums, I have Eddie Trevino. And then yeah. on um, vocals, I have Chelsea B. She's, they're one they're my group. They're my people, for real. Um, I've played with Eddie for over eight years now, mm-hmm. since I was 15. So he's been there for me through it all. Um, Mike is the homie. Been with us for about four years. And Chelsea is uh, has been with us for like four years now. That's dope. So, yeah, talk about just... Uh, so, 19, you got let go from the band. Your yeah. dad is like, all right, we're going we to start our own band. Yeah. What's the process of starting a band? Um, first, you have to have equipment. Right. Um, I knew I wanted to be the sole owner. My dad's like, that's your band, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I remember always being told, like, you don't get to choose the music unless you own all the equipment. The dude that owns all the equipment owns the band. Absolutely. I own all the equipment. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) And so, um, you know, then coming up with a set list. And Mm -hmm. then there's rehearsals. There's finding people, you know. It was like this whole process. I didn't realize how much work it was going to be until I had to start my own. (laughs) And then I remember... um, the first place we got hired at was Hooters. Oh, sh- the one that's yeah. The- oh shit! And when, uh, when you say get hired at, that means to like sing. Yeah, or? to sing, you know. And we didn't have any videos of the band during rehearsal. We didn't have anything, not even a logo yet. Oh, so we went in there. Colin mm-hmm. said, "Hi, we're TCB Music. We want to play here. Come in for a meeting. We'll talk about it." I'm going there, and the guy <laughs> can't think of the manager's name, but mm-hmm. he's talking to my dad. You know, this, this, and that. Oh, your dad and, was handling business. Oh, my dad was handling business, but I'm like kind of looking around. I was like, oh, okay, I know I can fill up this place. Right. You know. Oh shit. And so the guy turns to my dad. He's like, "Hey, can't wait to hear your band." He's like, "It's not my band. It's her band." And this guy's like six foot two, and I'm five foot four for reference. Yeah. And I was like, "Hi, can't wait to play for you." <laughs> and then he's like, "Are you gonna pack the house?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, mm, "We'll see." Oh, so his attitude switched when you figured it was your band. You know, but I laugh about it now because me and him are still cool. Yeah. We laugh about that. Oh, that's cool, though. Yeah. But that's good, though. That means you really were able to show him, like, like I'm <laughs> I'm her. Yeah, we packed it up. There was a two-hour wait. There was a line outside the building. He only hired, had maybe, like, four girls on shift. He had to call some more to come in. It was that busy. Oh, shit. And what year is this? This is 2019. Oh, damn. I packed it full. Have you ever been inside of Hooters? Not not this one. I but in the yeah. Hooters, I assume they're all no, the same. No, this one was like, like front to back, bar oh, was filled, shit. like you know everything. And what were you, were you guys? Um, what were you singing? You guys was it a cover band? It's a cover band, you know. I was nervous, you know, because mm-hmm. like, I mean, it was a two hour wait time to get in there. You had to people got there four hours earlier before we we even went on just so they can get a table. How how did that happen? Because I know you weren't necessarily recording music. Yeah. How do you guys get the word out? What promo goes into... Because um, well, this, this was your guys' first performance yeah. as a group, right? Yeah. So, yeah, talk about the... How do you how do you pack the house out? So, um, like I said, at that point, I've been doing music for four years. Obviously, I made connections, gained a little bit of following, you mm-hmm. know, because like, oh, you're the little Latina girl that's yeah. in these bands. You know, we like you, like what you see, like what you hear, like what you see, you know? Right. And I was like, yeah, you know. And then once you hear, I started having my own band, made the Facebook page, and the likes started going up, like, automatically. Oh, shit. So I just kind of gained a following over the years, mm-hmm. you know? P- plus people who have supported me throughout mm-hmm. it, you know? Like, we're coming out, we're bringing our families, bringing everyone. Oh, yeah. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. How long? So after, so you, you get a performance at Hooters. Yeah. Pack the house out, knock the doors off. Is there a follow-up? Do they say, hey, come back, perform oh, yeah. again? 
we were their house band for a long time until they shut down. Oh shit! Yeah. That, talk about being being. I guess because like you were saying off camera, yeah. being a house band is like a residency, for the re- residency right? Yeah. Talk about the process of getting a residency. Um, it kind of just happens. I'm not too sure. They're like, if we have multiple dates within a month with them, mm-hmm. like, hey, you're playing this Saturday, this Friday, this Saturday. You know, I have a few residencies at different places like Brooklyn's Barbecue, um, the Old River Monte Carlo on Taft Highway, the Belvedere, mm-hmm. and Harry's in Pismo. So. Oh, in Pismo. Yeah. Oh, so you all, you all around. Yeah, that- I, I just be doing some stuff. Nah, talk know. your shit. Talk your shit. <laughs> That's dope. So you go playing bands and your bands are still playing and then you you recording music on the side? Yeah. With the band or just solo? Solo. You ever think about perform like recording music with the band, like, like yeah. original? So talk talk about do you have plans for that? Is that something you're still trying to trying to write up or you know? Um, you know, it's all about finding the sound. You know, I'm very particular. I don't know if lots of people know that. You know, mm-hmm. they see me in the band and they're like, "You're very nice." I'm like, right. I'm very particular about my sound. You got to be. You got. You have yeah. to be. If if nobody else is, you have to be particular because it's like at the end of the day, it is a representation of you and oh, your yeah. and your own feelings. You know, so you want to make sure that you present it in a way where one is accurate two everybody will like it you, you know? know i asked my buddy christopher casares the one who was playing guitar last night yeah you know i asked him like hey would you ever be down to do some studio work for me he's like i'm down yeah mm-hmm. just let me know and i already sent him over some stuff i was like figure out some stuff on here if i ever perform live you're playing I'm yeah that's dope. does it ever get murky like being i mean i guess you're the owner so whatever you say goes mm-hmm. but have you guys ever spoke as a group like that's recording music or I write music or have they ever brought up anything to you as far as like their own original sound that they want like the band to play or anything? Um, no, not really. You know, we have, we play music because we love it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not about the money, you know, it's not yeah. about the original stuff. We just genuinely love to play music. How do you, you guys vibe? Yeah. How do you guys come up with the song? Cause someone like yesterday, I went to go see you perform <laughs> yesterday for reference. I don't know the date, April 14th, 15th. April 15th. I don't know when this is coming out. It depends yeah. on how, you know, I edit. Anyways, uh, some of the songs you guys were playing were, were very fun. Were very fun. Like blow the Whistle? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because you were playing Blow the Whistle, and <laughs> I think me and my friend were like, oh, yeah, they're playing this? Nobody else looked like they knew, like, what oh, it yeah. was. But as soon as that one part came, what's my favorite <laughs> word? word? At the top of my lungs. I screamed it. That was fun. So yeah. who, you, I assume you come up with the, the songs. Talk about talk about that. We all come up with some of the songs, you know. It's like a mixture. But, like, The Pony, Blow the Whistle, Hella Good, and Yeah by Usher. I about to say, yeah, you did. Yeah. And Freak a Leak, <laughs> too. And Goodies. Um, well, for me, I'm the youngest one in the band. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was like, guys... We got to do some stuff, you know, if we want yeah. younger people to come out. Yeah. And um, my boy Mike on the bass and, bass and synthesizer, mm-hmm. he comes to a rehearsal one day. Because I was like, oh, yeah, I was listening to Goodies by Sierra. And he's, like, playing it. He's like, this is fun. We should do this. <laughs> and I remember my dad, my dad, my drummer, Eddie, and a few other guys, they were like, you're playing Pony by Genuine? Yeah. That's- and we can never look at any of the guys for six months during that whole rehearsal and going to shows. But like, yeah, we're going to change it up a little bit in here. We're going to do <laughs> pony. When I even look at any of them, I was like, I'm not looking. I was like, dad, you need to step outside. No, You're about that's... to hear me sing some very questionable <laughs> lyrics. Like, that's funny. That's fun as hell. It, <laughs> like, you know, I was like, dad, you need to step outside. I'm sorry. When he heard blow the whistle, he's like, I'm not sure about this. I was like, you'll see. Yeah. Is that so? Is that like a like a set list that you play all the time, or is that just? I mean, how how many? Because I've never I've never experienced yeah. a cover band before, so I assume you guys pick you know whatever songs oh, and yeah. you just re sing it. Is that like a specific set list that you guys do every time you perform, or how often are you like changing up the music that you perform and everything? Oh my gosh! Right now we have maybe about ten new songs we're learning. Mm-hmm. I think total as a band we know about eighty. Mm-hmm. And in a typical set, like four sets, it's like 45 plus songs. Oh, shit. I sing uh, maybe 38 of them. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's dope. You know, what's, what, what, what's been your favorite favorite song to sing? And maybe one that's just not been like, ugh. Oh, gosh. My favorite one to sing has been Saturday Love. Okay. And my least favorite one, Game of Love. 
by Michelle Branch and Santana. <laughs> Santana, I love Santana. Yeah, but you guys ever ever cover? Um, <laughs> 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 what is it? Um, no, not that one. What's the one? Smooth. You ever do smooth? I, I've tried to do it. It's too low. Really? Yeah. What about uh, Maria Maria? <laughs> I'm, I'm just. A, I'm a huge Santana fan. We've been trying to do it with Wild Thoughts, so. Oh yeah, that's Russia. dope. Yeah, I'm a huge, huge uh, Santana fan. Do you guys ever like get uh, like requests? Like when people find out, know. like, oh, you're a cover man. Well, can you sing this? Can you sing that? Yeah. How does that go over? Is that are you <laughs> receptive to it, or you just we we you listen to whatever we sing? Uh, I'm like, put on a hundred dollar bill and we'll see what we nah, can do. Shit. Let me see what I got on my wallet. <laughs> nah. uh, that's dope. That's dope, man. That's fun. Like I said, I went to go see you perform. It was my first time. I had no idea what to expect. Oh you know? Gosh, I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, I had no idea. 